Hello Libra and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you for joining me for the Cancer Season Astro Tarot Reading. So we kick off Cancer Season with the Summer Solstice on Tuesday, June 21st when the Sun enters Cancer at 5.14 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please adjust to your time zone on the planet and we remain in cancer season until Friday, July 22nd, when the sun enters Leo. So we have a new moon in cancer on Tuesday, June 28th at 10.52 a.m. I'm sorry, p.m. And that's also Eastern Standard Time. So again, please adjust to your time zone on the planet. And that's going to coincide with Neptune in Pisces going retrograde. So we also have Pluto in Capricorn going retrograde or is in retrograde. And we also have Saturn in retrograde in Aquarius. So we have these three retrograde planets having big impact on all of us. And this Neptune in Pisces is a great time for reviewing our dreams. And with the new moon, a great time to start something that's important to you, perhaps fulfilling a dream. Then we have the full moon in Capricorn on Wednesday, July 13th at 2.38 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that's going to illuminate the Pluto retrograde in Capricorn. And then we have on the 4th of July, United States of America experiences its Pluto return. So there could be some major changes in government, in frameworks, in society rules, or uh, social rules because Capricorn is about the framework of a structure. It represents our skeletal system. But Cancer season should be fun, very creative, and of course creativity expands our mind because we get inspired. We have new ideas, perhaps new ideas on old ways. Uh, so there's the arts, and this might be a good time to clear the clutter from your space or from your life and reclaim that space, reclaim your power. So Libra, this is a general tarot reading meant for Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, and or Rising. So please only go with the messages that resonate with you as these readings are meant to be confirmations to what you already know or intuitively know. Okay, and for you, Libra, we start with, look at that, a new moon in Libra. A new romantic cycle begins. So there's some romance starting off your cancer season. If it hasn't already begun, perhaps it's going to move in that direction. And then we have don't let your past hold you back with the south node. So if you've had bad experiences in the past with romance, uh, this is telling you, don't let that hold you back. Then we have the full moon in Sagittarius. Okay, we just had the full moon in Sagittarius. Uh, it was also a super full moon. Uh, so look at the bigger picture. Something's being illuminated here for you in the emotions. And we also have this beautiful full cycle of new moon to full moon. And here with the south node, you're clearing something out. You're clearing out that clutter. This could also be 
clearing out old emotional behavioral patterns. Ask yourself, does that serve you? If not, discard it. Replace it with something new. Okay, let's go deeper into this with the tarot. Okay, here we have the Three of Cups. Yeah, you're going to be celebrating this new romance. Next, we have the Tower. Don't let the past hold you back. You are going to clear out the past in a big way. The Hermit. Okay, look at the bigger picture. Take in, understand your perspective. This is also asking you to look into the subconscious. What is it that you're feeling there? Shine your light in that area of your life because the hermit is about illuminating the darkness. And then we are gifted with wisdom, drawn to our flame. We are gifted with the right information. And that comes to you intuitively. You have to be in touch with your own personal perspective and be strong in your framework. Because here the tower is knocking down this tower. And in a way, that was the framework that kept you imprisoned. And now you are free of that. This could also be set free from uh, some kind of relationship in the past. And you have a deeper understanding of what happened there. And now you're able to adjust your own personal framework so you can stand in your energy. We have the four of pentacles. Yeah, just what I was saying. Creating a strong boundary. This might even be a physical boundary uh, where you feel safe, having a safe space. Um, and I'm getting that because um, we have this tower here that can be a lot of triggered fear-based emotion because we do have this romantic cycle. Um, are you repeating a romantic cycle? And this is letting you know uh, to clear that because the South Node is saying, don't let the past hold you back. Now, are you getting involved with the same type of person or is this somebody new that you can have a new experience with because the tower is coming down to tell you you're done with this. It's time to do something new, to rebuild something new. And we have the page of pentacles. Okay, you have new skills, new understanding. Uh, the page of pentacles is about maybe taking what you know from your experience and turning it into possibly some kind of business where you're helping other people. Um, suddenly art therapist came into my mind. A queen of swords. This is ruled by Aquarius. This is definitely separating um, old behavior patterns, perhaps even separating yourself from old relationships. You know, perhaps you are wanting to look at this bigger picture, but you have friends that want to keep you in their energy field and you're not able to grow unless, you know, sometimes, sometimes we outgrow our friends and families and it's time for a new adventure for you, Libra. 
we have the Six of Cups. This can be the past because the Six of Cups represents our past. It represents our childhood friends, perhaps our childhood injuries. Perhaps some of you may have experienced some kind of childhood trauma that has kept you stuck in a cycle that only now you have gained enough understanding where you can now set yourself free and stand strong in your power because the Queen of Swords is a feminine energy, divine feminine energy that strong stand that stands strongly in her power. She knows her mind. And the Six of Cups could also be somebody from the past, maybe the one who got away, enters back into your life. And it might trigger, you know, some of those past emotions. But here you're starting something new. Don't let that past hold you back if it's right. Next, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Now, this could be business, but this, I see you are in a financial position where you don't have to worry about anything. You have safety, you have security, you have your own physical boundaries set by your home, set by your body. Your body is the physical boundary between you and the outside world. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, something shifting here. There's a big shift here. And it's within yourself. Because we have the Hermit here. We have the Queen of Swords. You're having a breakthrough moment, especially with this Tower card. You're having this huge break free, breakthrough moment where you are set free and it now sets things in motion and you're now able to move forward. You're no longer stuck in the past. That's what this is telling me. And I feel like something has shifted in your world financially that is enabling you to move forward. Okay, now let's, okay, I was shuffling your sweet dream cards and this card fell out. Um, I surrender the old limiting beliefs. I awaken and I am reborn into limitless possibilities. I really feel strongly that that is the wheel of fortune you're surrendering to the shift because that's the only way you're going to move forward and it'll pick up momentum. Now let's look at your moon magic. Okay, here is your artwork. And you have the new moon. This is beautiful because with that new moon in Cancer on Tuesday, June 28th, it's a perfect time to accept renewal and delight in fresh starts. And that's going to be a romantic fresh start. This could also be a fresh start for yourself taking care of yourself. Okay, now let's look at your cancer season blessings. Okay, we have a blessing on a journey with number 22, a master number. 
And of course, with a journey, we have this hermit card. And we also have the page of pentacles that could be a companion, a journey companion. Uh, but this, I feel, is more of a personal journey of your soul. And then we have number two. Oh, wow. Two and 22. A blessing of the air. And Libra, you are a air sign. And you also rule partnerships. And here you have this new moon. And this new moon in Libra, which is an air sign. It's you. Accept this renewal and fresh start for yourself. And see where it takes you. Okay, Libra. I hope that this was helpful and beneficial. Uh, thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel. And please feel free to share this video with others if you think they might enjoy it. And also leave any feedback or tarot related questions in the comments below. And I'll try to do a video for your question. And until then, take care.